traders, FS Piccolati here. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the Euro dollar, I'm definitely still very, very bullish. I still think this is either a running flat or an expanding flat. A running flat will make a lower high compared to these previous highs. An expanding flat would likely go up to the 178, 161.8 and make a much much higher high. Either way, we're still not really to the point where it matters to know the difference. Going down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, I think this wave 5 right here is the end of a wave 1. I think this wave C is the end of a wave 2. And that means we are already in a wave 3. So this is like a 1 of 3, 2 of 3, and I believe this wave 3 of 3 should, at least on the weekly time frame, continue to make that series of higher highs and higher lows. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time I mean, on the daily, the, there's no arguing the fact that the trend is up. We are back at previous highs, so maybe it will make a pullback there, maybe not. And it technically already did make a pretty significant pullback at that previous high, so it might have already grabbed the liquid, liquidity required, and it may just keep on going up. The trend is definitely up on all these higher time frames. Going down to the four hour time frame. For me, the last structure level is still down in this area. So for me, the trend is definitely, definitely, definitely still up until it breaks that structure. Now, we finally broke the high from the FOMC that I've been talking about. So we finally did break out. And this looks to me like a one, two, three pattern. So to me, there's definitely no reason to think this is over. I do not think it's just going to reverse like that. If anything, it might make a little bit of a pullback. But if anything, the pullback is probably just going to be like a wave 4, and then it might even break out for a wave 5. So taking it down to that 1 hour time frame. On the 1 hour time frame, knowing that literally every single higher time frame is an uptrend, we definitely, definitely should be looking for longs. Now, I wouldn't try to go long right now because we're you'd probably be going long right at the top of a wave. But this, to me, seems very, very clearly to be a 1, 2, 3. So if it does break this structure, then that means it's probably in a wave 4. And what it does, so if it does break that structure, the first thing I would do is put my Fibonacci retracement on here, and I would probably look for like a 38 or a 50% pullback for the wave 4, and then I would look for another entry to go long for the wave 5. The fact that literally the 4-hour, the daily, the weekly, the monthly are all in uptrend, and the very high time phase look like they're in a wave 3 tells me that I really, really need to stay very, very focused on looking for longs at the end of pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.